Hey guys, welcome back to the Odie Survivors channel. My name is Odie and today I'm back with a new video talking about chemo symptoms. Now, I'm not just going to talk about my symptoms, I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring you along and um, excuse me beforehand if this video is a little triggering or difficult to watch. Um, the purpose behind this video is not to create any kind of pity or to have you guys feel any type of way about me. I'm doing great. Um, I understand fully that um, chemo brings a set of side effects that we just have to deal with and those are just the consequences of um, what they bring and I'm completely okay with it. So I did want to preface this uh, video by saying I'm sorry. It's maybe a little bit triggering for anybody going through an illness. Um, it's gonna be a real video. Um, typically, the mood and the common trend uh, among all my videos is positivity, happiness, you know, just kind of throwing out uh, motivation out there. But this video is a little different. And the reason for that is because I know that there is a huge cancer community out there that is looking for somebody, anybody to relate to. And um, why not? Why not shed some light on what, you know, the process is um, exactly from the moment that I get infused all the way uh, through the end when I feel better within four or five days. So I'm not sure how this video is gonna turn out, but I wanted to bring you along with me. I'm getting ready to go for chemo infusion number 21. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> 21, I'm legal now. <laughs> In the cancer world, no, I'm kidding. Uh, that's just a joke. Uh, anyway, I'm on my way over there right now. I'm going to get infused. I am going to put in a little clip from last night. Um, I was having a very serious bout of neuropathy. When I tell you, it was really bad. Um, for those of you who are not familiar, chemotherapy, some chemotherapy regimens do cause uh, neuropathy and what that is, is nerve damage. <laughs> Yesterday, I was driving home from um, my mom's house and the pain began right in my neck and went through my shoulder and my arm to the point where I couldn't lift my arm and driving and steering was very difficult. I got scared. <laughs> The pain continued down my body, all through my left side, all the way down to my toes. And my gosh, it was like, it was like I couldn't, I had zero motion on the left side of my body. Now my face started in my neck and went all the way down. Even in my abdomen area, I felt pain all through my left side. You better believe I'm going to get to the infusion center and I'm going to tell my nurses about it. And I'm going to have them write to my oncologist um, to see if maybe he wants to alter my dose a little bit. I'm not really sure how he wants to handle it. I know neuropathy is part of the process, it sucks, uh, but at the same time, there needs to be a balance because once that nerve damage um, has happened, it's very difficult to reverse it. In fact, don't quote me on this one, but I don't think you can reverse neuropathy. You can only treat it. So mm, I'm not trying to get on more medication. So we'll see what my oncologist has to say. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's go. Bye. Right now, I have a lot of neuropathy, and I have pain starting from my neck my shoulder all the way down to my toe and it's my whole left side of my body it hurts so much so numb
know how I'm feeling? Exactly how my shirt says. I'm feeling whatever. <laughs> And so we have started with the pre-medications. There it is. My first symptom is kind of inevitable, and that's just grogginess. Feeling sleepy. Really sleepy. All right, guys. So fast forward. It is now 4 p.m. and I made it back home. My infusion is done. I'm home with my chemo pack, and here's Gordo, the nice dog. Um, I'll show you how much liquids I've been able to drink today. Yeah, nothing. Pretty much two sips. I feel shimmy nauseated. I feel disgusting. I feel like a train went over me. I had an incident at the infusion center where I fell asleep. And I woke up and I was like, oh my god, I think I did diarrhea on my pants. And um, luckily, it wasn't a full-blown diarrhea, but that's what happened to me when I was asleep. And it's so frustrating because it's embarrassing, however way you put it, right? My plan right now is to change and lay down and sleep because that's all my body wants to do right now, sleep. He's gonna bite you. Yeah. <laughs> it is currently 9 p.m. I'm still wearing the same thing I was wearing to infusion. I took a nap in the guest room for a little bit. I didn't go to my bed because oh, my bird's over here. I didn't go to my bed because I just feel like once I lay there, there's no getting me up, and I'm kind of fearful of that. So. I'm just hanging out in the living room right now. And he's watching the game. I feel stabbing pain in my liver area. Um, I think that's just one of the symptoms. My liver is working extra hard. My liver enzymes are actually a little bit elevated right now. My lab work uh, reflected that, which is not uncommon. Um, I'm getting very harsh medication and my liver is having to work extremely hard to process all this. So I'm trying my very best to have liquids, but here's an update on my drink. It's so hard because every time I drink, I have to gag and it's so force fed. I haven't eaten anything since this afternoon. No, I had something at 12. Um, which I regretted very badly because as I told you guys, um, I had what the nurse had given me, which was some rice, salad, and a tad bit of tuna. And I ate that while I was getting infused. It's nurse's week, so they had like a special menu. Um, and she offered me some and I said yes. But I shouldn't have because, I mean, like I told you guys, I woke up and thought that I had literally had an accident in my pants. The man is laughing. Why is that funny? It's kind of funny. <laughs> he means that lightheartedly, guys. Um, Manny got me some crackers here. They gotta eat because I just had um, some nausea medication. And honestly, guys, I feel like the nausea medication is not hitting the spot anymore. I don't know if it's because your girl got fluffy and we need to alter the dosage to my body weight. My sister was saying something like that. Or my body's creating an intolerance. But if you guys could be so kind to tell me what the heck works for you guys when you're on chemo, what is 
your nausea medication regimen. I want to know. I want to know if you use natural alternatives. Do you use medication? How do you alternate? How many hours? Tell me. I'm looking for salvation. I need help. Um, I talked to my oncologist about it and he actually prescribed another medication but and I I can't think right now of the name of it but that medication knocks me the hell out and that's another thing that I should say about myself is I'm very I don't I'm very sensitive to medication go figure I mean <laughs> it's not my place to say that right now because I'm on chemotherapy but any I mean I can have anything and it knocks me the heck out like my body feels it almost immediately so if you have any suggestions for me and for pickles pickles wants to know what nausea medication are you guys on and what works for you please help your girl out because this isn't cute and then tweety's over here she's the one eating all my crackers i've ha i haven't even had one bite in fact i'll do it for the camera i guess Manny's philosophy is that I have to, what is it? Now think about it. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. Oh, just casually put food in your mouth, chew it, and have yeah, your. When you're watching a, watching a movie or doing something, you're just eating it because it's there. Y'all need to tell him it doesn't work like that. <laughs> And I'd say my body's not accepting of anything right now. It's just like, nope, don't do it, girl. Don't drink water, don't eat. But I'm gonna go in the, sh I'm gonna go fix myself a shower. Manny's gonna go fix me a shower. I am, I'm watching the game. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> just kidding. Oh my God, look how bald I'm going. How cute is that? Yeah, I didn't know this was in. Yeah, I didn't know that having like a receding <coughs> hairline was in. You need to get with this, sis. How about you? Where's your hairline? There he is, guys. I told you he was going to fix the shower. <laughs> All right, guys. So, update. It's the next day. It's like 2 p.m. the next day. And um, I'm looking and feeling a little rough. My sister made me um, peanut butter, banana almond milk smoothie and I'm trying my hardest to drink this um I don't know if you can notice my face is a little red that always kind of happens to me when I'm on chemo it's kind of like a small reaction that I'm having another symptom that I'm having is like overproduction of saliva I'm not sure exactly what it's called but it's like this medication for fairy I know causes it and it's like when you're you just create over create saliva which really really sucks for nausea because i mean i have to swallow the saliva tmi but it just like every time i swallow i can taste chemotherapy and it just makes it a bit harder i want to be positive and i want to say i'm you know inching the finish line with symptoms but i know that i'm in i'm in the gut here is my machine Still pumping. Today's Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tomorrow, Thursday is the hardest day because my sister has to go into work physically. Manny has to work. My parents work. Everybody's at work, which means I have to battle it out by myself, which is fine. I've done it before, but it's difficult because it's hard to even get out of bed and teach myself anything. So it takes a lot of will which I can do, but it's just very difficult. Anyway, I'm feeling groggy, I'm feeling sleepy. Excuse my look. It is what it is. All right guys, so it's about 7 p.m. I haven't eaten anything since that last um, smoothie I had. And a man, he just brought me some food, which I don't know why they would add all this dressing and some rice and some salmon. So we'll see how many bites of this I can take. As far as symptoms go, I have a lack of appetite, so hardly have any hunger at all. 
and I'm feeling very, very fatigued. I just want to sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. And I'm also producing way too much saliva, which is disgusting. And I knew it's a symptom of full fury, but I had never experienced it. Now, after 21 rounds, it's time, right? Anyway, I'm gonna try to eat this some of them.